I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some football. I'm also ready for some wizards, dragons, trolls, tight ends, and touchdowns that make up fantasy football. Theoretically, you only need to win seven games to make it to the playoffs, and week one is here, and so let's uh, get started with our week one preview. Mr. Rogers Muscle Hamsters versus Show Me Your Touchdowns. This will be the only a matchup between Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers this year as uh, week 10, when our rematch comes, uh, Mr. Rogers will be on a bye. So whoever, whichever quarterback runs up the, sc the points total will end up uh, winning the game, I feel. The next team on the list is uh, Team Quattro versus Manifest Destiny's Child. This will be the ultimate wide receiver showdown, as uh, Quattro's got the natural Andre Johnson, the old man Roddy White, Miles Austin, and the Salsa King, Victor Cruz, up against Megatron, and Larry Fitzgerald, hello. This, uh, this appears to be a shootout. Uh, 40 Ounces of Freedom versus Manhattan Pornographers. This is an interesting cross-defense matchup, considering that uh, 40 Ounce has the Niners, Patrick Willis, and the Jets D going up against the Niners D and... Darrell Rebus of the Jets. It should be it should be a, a blowout. I'd hate to say for uh, 40 ounces of freedom. Uh, Hilltop, if you're watching this, I could be wrong, but please, whatever you do, don't start Roy Hulu. Don't do it. Mike Shanahan hates your fantasy team. He hates it. While Chan Gailey of the Buffalo Bills, he may be a little bit more sympathetic to your plight. Toxic Moles versus Dane Bramage. This is going to be a close contest. It's going to be interesting uh, to, to note that Rob will be quietly uh, rooting for uh, the Cowboys who uh, fill Dane Bramage's team, um, and he's playing against them this week. Dane Bramage is showing some real guts by starting all day, and Jason Witten in the preliminary uh, lineup. We'll have to see how that goes. I hope they both can play. And then we finally we have El Jorge versus Boba Fett. This one looks like it could be a toss-up. Uh, but on paper, ESPN is predicting that Il Jorge will end up want running away by 31 points. Jeez. We all know that the scores are not final until Tuesday morning. And uh, I'm looking forward to watching the return of Peyton Manning, as I'm sure that you all are. Well, that's the Vanglorious Bastards Week 1 uh, matchup preview. Uh, talk to you soon.